Hey, and here bits Destiny. I am VSG post op week one nineteen question mark. I, I think I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on February second, two thousand fifteen, at Enlow Medical Center. My surgeon is Dr. Darren Ludwig with the Chico Weight Loss Center. My high weight was three hundred sixty one pounds. Day of surgery three forty two point six, and today I'm holding steady at one eighty five. I never did math still on that. I don't know what that is for pounds lost. So you do the math, figure it out, and that's what it is. Um, I'm five foot, one inch tall on a good day, and those are the numbers. Today I wanted to talk about, um, I guess, attraction, sexuality, trading, insecurities. I, I touched on a, a few videos before about how when you have weight loss surgery, you pretty much trade one set of insecurities for a new set of insecurities. I am no longer always the biggest person in the room when I walk into a room somewhere and so that insecurity is gone but I traded I just traded a set for a set really is what happened um with rapid weight loss comes excess skin and uh, you expect like the swan moment where you look into the mirror and all of a sudden you're like this beautiful creature and that doesn't typically happen because we are so hard on ourselves about everything and every like this right here right now is killing me because I'm in my car so I can't hold my camera up at the angle to get rid of my little like double chin there and th that's stupid I should be I'm this is my face and this is what it looks like and this is what I have to work with and so I don't know why I why I do that I do that because it's it's what we do like I have a little it is what it is. Like, what are you going to do? I, like, I have clavicles now, so that's cool. <laughs> but we just pick, we pick ourselves apart, and we pick each other apart, and it's something that we do. Someone in a group I'm in or something recently said that she, as she's developed her new body and her new confidence, she's decided that she deserves better looking partners. When I when I read that I was like Wait, what? <laughs> you deserve better looking partners because you are now better looking. Does that make I don't I have a real problem with that. Okay, so at the risk of sounding like a conceited asshole, I've never had trouble dating or being in relationships or finding someone to love me even at my heaviest weight. I didn't I never had any issues with that. I did run into problems where I would be attracted to someone but they wouldn't be attracted to me. I never got mad at them for that because you can't help who you're attracted to. You can't help. Some people are attracted to super morbidly obese people. Some people aren't. Some people are attracted to fit people. Some people aren't. I never got mad at someone for not returning my attraction. I mean, it sucked and it was it hurt, but it, there's nothing you can do about that. I Never in a million years would I say that someone's a jerk because they're not attracted to overweight people or that someone's a jerk because they're not attracted to fit people. That does not make you a jerk. That is just your nature. It's just what you find attractive. But to say that now that you've lost weight, you deserve to be with someone who's more classically attractive kind of makes you an asshole, in my opinion. Because what we deserve is what we put out. And if you're going to put that crap out, then... I was just a little bit flabbergasted about the whole deal because I don't think... In my mind's eye, that's not how it works. In my mind, And plus, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. What one person finds absolutely gorgeous, another person won't, and so I don't know. It got me a little riled up, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I just find that whole situation and this whole subject a little tricky because, because it is subjective, for one. But for two, who's to say who deserves what? Do you deserve to be with an attractive person because you're an attractive person. If you're not a classically attractive person, does that mean you don't deserve to be with someone you're attracted to? I don't understand. I don't get that line of thought at all in my brain at all. Um, and then there's a lot of talk about if people weren't attracted to you when you were overweight and they become attracted to you when you lose weight, that makes them a douche. Again, I disagree because it's the same thing. You're attracted to what you're attracted to. You don't get to choose. In my, I know for me, I don't choose my preferences. They just happen. I just look at someone and I'm like, whoa, hey. You know what I mean? And so, 
I think we're very quick to jump on that judgy, like, so-and-so's a bad person because they don't like people with dark eyes. I mean, what are you going to do? I, even when I was as big as I was, I never was, I never got mad about people's preferences because it is what it is. It's, I mean, we all have, that. I colored my hair back to closer to my natural color and a lot of people were really supportive and a lot of people were like, hey, you're attractive because you have wild, weird-ass hair. Sorry. <laughs> it is what it is. You guys, I mean, we gotta, we gotta figure it out as human beings. What do you guys think about that? What do you think about the concept that if you're more classically attractive, you deserve classically attractive partners? I don't know how I feel about that. Talk to me about it. Leave me comments. Let me know. If you want me to talk about anything, also let me know on that one, and I will see you guys next week.